In this example, I'm going to configure the P6700 limit controller for a PT100 input signal with a high alarm value of 100 degrees C and a critical latching alarm value of 120 degrees C. First of all, let's have a look at the option boards that are fitted inside. Remove the, I'll just remove the controller from the housing. Here is the main uh, output board, the relay board for the critical latching alarm. Under here you can see the relay board, the option board that I fitted in option slot 2 to give me the fleeting high level alarm. To configure key 6700, press the up and scroll keys together and then select the configuration menu. Configuration. There's a default code of 20 to get into the menu. This is where we can select the type of input. This unit has already been configured configured for a PT100 input signal, um, but here are the other types of inputs you can have. 0 to 20 milliamps, 4 to 20 milliamps, 10 to 50 volts, 0 to 5 volts, so on. A range of thermocouple inputs, J thermocouple, um, K thermocouple. When there's a dot between the digits here, it means there's, there's one decimal point. So here, for example, if I go back to my PT100, here, PTC, that would give me the input for a PT100, but without any decimal, decimal point, in degrees C. This is what I want, PT.C, PT100 input signal with one decimal place. Press the reset button to accept it. Move on to the next parameter and um, this is the upper limit of the input signal range. Um, in this case it's 537.7 but we can refine that range if we want to. 537.7 is just the default value and the lower limit minus 128.8 Offset, we can put in an offset if required, maybe because perhaps uh, we've got a thermocouple input and the thermocouple is degraded, and so we know it's going to be given a slightly false reading. Um, the control function, this is where we put in the uh, status for the control relay, the limit relay. It's either high or low. We want high. Set point upper limit, well, this is the, um, we can put in our upper and lower limits for the set point. Um, the default is to have the set point uh, limits at the maximum range values. But say for example we didn't want the operator to be able to go down to 128.8 degrees C. Um, if we only wanted him to have a range where he could move the set point, say between 0 to 150 degrees C, then we can we can change that. So just as an example, I'll just change the lower set point limit from minus 128.8 to zero. Reset to accept. Alarm one. This is the fleeting alarm. We fitted a board in our output slot two and it's going to be our high alarm. I've chosen it as a high alarm, alarm 1. At the moment the value is 537.7. Now I want it to be 100. So let's just bring it down.
Okay, reset button to accept it. Um, there's an adjustable hysteresis, you can put in a hysteresis around the alarm value if required. There's an adjustable hysteresis there. Alarm 2, um, I haven't got any other alarm boards fitted. Used to. Now, the alarm board that I, the additional alarm board that I fitted, I put it in output slot 2. So the use of output 2 is for alarm 1, and I've got it as a direct acting alarm. Let's come out of here and go into the next menu, the setup menu. The default for this is 10. Set point. This is our critical alarm point. We want it as 120. Again, there's an adjustable hysteresis that we can put around that alarm point. Um, here's our high alarm value, 100. OK, let's come out of that. And go into operate. So I've configured the 6700 limit controller for a PT100 input signal. A high alarm value of 100 degrees C and a critical limit alarm condition of 120 degrees C. I'm going to simulate a PT100 input signal with a, de uh, a decade box. So if I bring the temperature up gradually, so we go past the 100 degrees C the high level alarm um, is shown on the multimeter on the right hand side. Let's just change state to go from open to close contact. If I bring the temperature down again below the 100 you'll see it changing state back to open contact. If I take the temperature up We've just gone over the 100, so the, the high alarm's come on. Let's go up to 120 degrees C. And there, on the left-hand side, the multimeter there has changed state. It's gone from open contact to closed contact. So my critical alarm has come on. Bring the temperature back down. I come below 120. The multimeter on the left it's still as a closed contact. The, the alarm has latched. Bring it down, We've gone below 100. The fleeting alarm has changed over. But the latching alarm, the critical high level alarm, 120 degrees, is still in the closed contact position. It's still latched. It will only be reset by an operator. For further details on P6700, please go to our website www.wardindustries.co.uk.